today i thought i might tell you the story of noah ever since adam and eve bodged it with the whole little apple incident things haven't been going too well for mankind uh, they've been getting worse and worse they've been cheating and lying and stealing and killing each other it's really really been going quite badly and as a result god says i've got to do something about this you see god is a god of justice and the problem with a god of justice is justice means if you break a law there's got to be a punishment and so god says well i've got to send a punishment on mankind and he decides to send a flood so he goes to a guy called Noah and he says Noah I want you to build me a boat a nice big boat this puzzles Noah a little bit because um, Noah lives in the middle of the desert and Noah thinks to himself desert boat boat desert boat needs water desert anyhow anyhow amazingly Noah trusts God so much that even though it seems a really ridiculous thing to ask he starts building that boat and he spends a long time and a lot of money building this boat everybody making fun of him but when he finishes it God says to him Noah that is a good boat I think we need some animals in that oh no trouble says Noah I like animals how many were you thinking of well says God I was thinking of two great says Noah let's go for a dog and a cat I like dogs and cats I hadn't quite finished says God uh, I was going to go for two of each kind what two dogs and two cats no no Noah two of every kind of animal what every single one yeah God that's a lot of animals I know says God oh wait a sec I forgot. no wait don't wait uh, I forgot something oh thank goodness for that says Noah I thought we were in trouble there uh, there's going to be some special ones called clean animals says God you're going to need 14 each of those and then two of the rest oh come on God goes Noah but he sets to work and I've got to say probably with quite a lot of help from God he gets together all of these animals shoves them into the ark probably quite smelly in there a lot of poo very very crowded he Ham Shem Japheth his sons and their wives get in and it starts raining it rains and it rains and it rains and it rains and after it's rained it rains a bit more it rains and keeps on raining it rains for 40 days and 40 nights and then after it's rained so much that it looks as though the clouds are exhausted then finally it rains some more and it just keeps on raining until it seems like the whole earth is going to overflow with water and all mankind are drowned only Noah his sons and their wives are saved and finally after all that rain the water starts to go down a bit the rain stops the water recedes and after a while Noah thinks to himself you know I wonder if there's any dry ground appearing so he gets a raven and he sends this raven out which proves to be a big mistake because they can fly for ages and it didn't come back so then he waits seven days and the water carries on going down and down and down and he sends out a dove the dove flies around can't find anywhere to land comes back so he waits another seven days water goes down a bit further he sends the dove out again and this time it comes back with a tiny little twig of an olive branch in its beak so Noah knows that the tops of the trees are starting to be seen he waits a bit longer sends the dove out again and this time it doesn't come back because it's found somewhere to rest and sure enough a few days later 
the ark itself comes to rest on a mountainside. Noah waits until all the water has gone back to where it should be. He opens up the ark and lets the animals and his sons and their wives out of the ark. And God says to Noah, Noah, from now on, I'm going to put a rainbow in the sky and that will remind you that never again will I flood the earth. If it rains from here on out, it's going to rain just the right amount and not one drop more.